Bats are important residents of Pope Farm Conservancy. These small mammals are an essential part of the ecosystem, acting as seed dispersers for many plants. They eat a variety of pests and balance populations of insects like mosquitoes. Bats are four-legged mammals, but the two front legs act as wings where a membrane is stretched over highly modified finger bones. The little brown bat has glossy fur on its back that can be dark to olive brown in color, with lighter belly fur. Including their tail, this bat is about three to four inches long, and their wingspan measures up to 10 inches. The little brown bat is an insectivore and eats wasps, moths, flies, and mosquitoes. To stay properly nourished, they must consume half their body weight daily. They emerge from their day roosts at sunset to begin a one to five hour feeding period. Afterwards, resting in a night roost that is close to but separate from their day roost. In turn, bats are prey for hawks, owls, and raccoons. All bats have the ability to hang upside down. Because their wings are very thin and fragile, it's difficult to take flight from the ground. So they use their front claws to climb to high spots like tree limbs from where taking flight is easier. In the summer, little brown bats live in trees, rock crevices, buildings, and bat houses. When choosing a natural roosting site, bats select older trees that are more likely to have loose bark, crevices, and cavities that are good for roosting. Bats live in colonies that can number from hundreds to thousands. In packing together, they share warmth during cool nighttime temperatures. The little brown bat is one of four state-threatened bat species in the state of Wisconsin. Since 2014, some hibernating bat colonies have decreased from 72 to 100 percent. This is caused by the spread of white nose syndrome, or WNS, a fungus that causes hibernating bats to wake up too often and too soon from hibernation causing them to starve, die of dehydration, or freeze to death. WNS does not affect humans, but human contact can carry WNS across bat colonies. When migrating from their summer home for winter hibernation, bats follow habitat edges, such as a forest edge or river where they can find food and protection they may travel as far as 300 miles between their summer and winter homes. The little brown bat is a cave bat, meaning it hibernates in caves or mines from October to April. During hibernation, bats go into a state called torpor, when their heart rate drops from 2 to 300 beats per minute to only about 10 beats per minute. A hibernating bat may go minutes without taking a breath. Overall, their body slows down enough to operate on 98% of summertime energy levels. In the spring, maternity colonies are home to hundreds or even thousands of pregnant bats gathering to share body warmth. The gestation period for little brown bats lasts up to 60 days before giving birth to only one pup in June or July. Pups nurse for a month and are independent at six weeks old. Echolocation sharpens bats' ability to see at night when there is very low light. Echolocation is when a bat emits high-frequency sound pulses through their mouth and nose. Bats are able to hunt and fly at night by reading echoes of these sound waves as they bounce off an object. Sunset at Pope Farm Conservancy 
is a good time to look for bats on the move or searching for dinner. These amazing creatures are nature's only true flying mammal.